Hi, I'm Bob with LPS Computer. Today I'm going to address some common problems that the uh, that show up with the HP DesignJet T and Z series plotters. Specifically, uh, air getting into the ink tubes and causing uh, numerous problems. Problems like um, printhead replacement, incomplete messages after you've replaced the printhead. Uh, the print fading out part way through uh, a print um, replace but you get false messages to replace ink cartridges when there's plenty of ink in them um, and, and uh, messages to replace the drop detector that are also uh, not correct it's, it's mainly because it's the drop detector seeing numerous print heads failing at the same time and the machine makes the determination that that can't be true so it, it says replace the printhead but none of that is, is so that the problem is air getting into the ink tubes now that happens when the uh, ink tube system is not pressurized when the machine's idle and uh, the weather systems change the air pressure changes when a high air pressure system moves in uh, air gets pushed in past the uh, printhead needles past the the seal that's supposed to keep the air out and air bubbles form inside the uh, uh, the ink tubes and so when it is time to print uh, the when when printhead gets slow in ink a valve opens it's supposed to uh, allow pressurized ink to come in but what it gets is pressurized air and that causes all sorts of problems the ones I just mentioned so we've come up with a, a low cost very easy to use solution uh, one it's, it's two parts when we get the air out of the ink tubes even if your, your uh, printhead needle valves are completely worn out this is going to fix it the we modified our, our air uh, purge tool so that it will seal externally to the printhead port and then we use similar seals on, print, on the printhead needles themselves so that you can put, basically put a new seal in by adding it to the needle on, on the uh, printhead. You know, the big advantage of that is it's going to save you printheads, it's going to save you um, the cost of ink tube systems even if the printhead ports are really uh, badly worn and it'll keep the air out of the two ink tube systems indefinitely. So. Uh, it's really designed for the end user, for the uh, the owner, or even for uh, technicians to to help their customers when uh, these problems occur. And uh, these machines are beginning to age. These seals are are wearing out. Even if you don't pull the print heads out and put them back in frequently, there's a chemical change in there, and those seals will start to leak. So this is a, a a really good solution. My son came up with this. I'm very pleased with it. It's a, it's a nice, simple, inexpensive, easy to use solution. Kind of hard to beat. This machine we've got into a failing state right now where it says uh, printhead uh, replacement incomplete. The reason it didn't com isn't complete is because the, the uh, pressure inside the tubes is incorrect because there's air in there. So I'm going to show you how to get the air out using um, our modified syringe. This is just a plain vanilla syringe. However, the needle's been modified so that it will pull air in from the side. We've also put a depth limiter on here. And the bottom part of this acts as a seal on top of the um, printhead port. Now it's kind of important that you pull the air in from the side because this part of it's going to be pushing on the check uh, check valve ball and uh, unless you can keep this vertical I mean you just need to have a needle shaped like this to do the job and when we push down on it this is going to make a seal on it so even if the, the internal seal for the uh, on the printhead port is, is completely uh, bad we're still going to get the air out this will seal on top of the printhead port and uh, the air comes out. The first thing I need to do is get the carriage out to service position 
So I'll give that a few seconds to happen. Then I'm going to uh, open the lid and remove the yellow cartridge. Yellow and magenta. And I'll show you how I'm going to purge this. There's air in that, in the yellow. So I'm going to put this in vertically, and you can see that that um, tubing seal is touching the top of the printhead port. I'm going to draw up on this. And we'll get no. We don't need more than about five milligrams of ink. And that should do it, and that should pull all of the air out. Now to get rid of the ink, I just use a Ziploc bag with a paper towel in it and squirt the excess ink in there and then seal it up and drop it in the trash. So it's actually a nice clean way to go. When I'm in the field, I used to be in the field, I would do that to each each color to make sure we have a completely clean ink tube system. No air anywhere. Now I'm going to make a modification to the um, print head itself. These are the print head needles. That's where the ink comes out of the tube system and refills the, the, the print head. These are the seals right here. These We're selling these in a, in a kit. So you get 12 or so of these seals in a bag, uh, a tool to insert them, and the syringe. So I'm going to take two of these. And use this little tool to um, to insert them. The seal goes right on there like that. It won't fall out. So it's, it's a nice, easy to use seal. I'm, I'm just going to push this right onto the needle, just like that. And I'll do the same thing for the other needle. Oops, that one didn't, didn't take. There it goes. Okay, now they're not seated completely, so I'm going to put this in between them, push them down. Now they're both seated, and uh, these will seal very well, regardless of the shape of the, uh, the condition of the other seal. So this is ready to go back into the machine. We'll see that this completes the print head installation because the pressures in the tubes are correct and um, it's also a permanent solution. This will save you the cost of a lot of print heads, save you a lot of wasted ink while the machine is trying to make it work, and will also save you the price of, um, of ink tube systems when that is the problem. Now, if the ink tube system is leaking such that uh, ink is coming out on the floor and all of your shoes, then it's probably a good, good idea to replace that ink tube system. But so far as keeping air out, keeping the pressure correct, this is a good fix. Okay, after the print head installation is completed, um, it'll print, it'll go ahead and, and um, align the print heads. And you're going to get this pattern, which you can frame or nail to the wall to prove you were successful, do whatever you like. Now this kit is available from lpscomputer.com or you can order it uh, by calling us at 760-749-1580. Uh, and uh, you can talk to me or you can talk to anybody else that answers the phone, tell them you want the uh, purge tool seal kit and uh, we'd be happy to take care of you. We can get that right out to you. We ship from Southern California. We don't ship anything from overseas. We don't import for anything from overseas. We're 100% American. So, um, 
hope, be, hope to hear from lots of you, and uh, you have a great day.